I'm Coyote Peterson, and I just had one crazy snake encounter. Get ready to meet the Northern Pacific Rattlesnake. California's Santa Cruz Mountains are teeming with wildlife, and if you have adventure coursing through your veins, it's not difficult to stumble upon a plethora of species. At a first glance, the rolling grasslands appear to be void of any living creatures. But look a little closer, and you will realize that this ecosystem is thriving. From the sky, that turkey vulture, check him out, to the ground, the creatures are everywhere. All right, this is really, really cool. I just flipped over this little piece of wood and caught a tiny fence lizard, which I have to hold on to pretty good here because he'll get away, and also a slender salamander. Now, salamanders are amphibians. Lizards, as you know, are reptiles, but they look quite a bit alike. Look at that, lizard versus salamander. And you can see the salamander has a very moist, slippery skin, and the lizard, he's got rough, scaly skin, it's pretty cool to just see these two, which look a lot alike, right next to each other. And while most are a pleasant find, there are a handful that personally make me squirm. And we've been hiking through the grasslands in the Santa Cruz Mountains here for about an hour and a half, and if there's one biological landmine that you're guaranteed to run into, it's ticks. They want to get into a warm spot on your body, like in your armpit or in your crotch. And they bury their head into your skin and suck your blood. There's nothing creepier than a tick. Then there are the snakes. Plenty of those to come across. A famous saying comes to mind that goes, don't catch a tiger by its tail. But what about catching a rattlesnake by its tail? This is one dangerous scenario that I was about to be smack in the middle of. Mark, I got a rattlesnake. All right, I've got him. He's tucked up in this crevice. Oh, geez, dude, be careful. Yeah, it's a very delicate situation. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get him out of here. But I've got my hand on him. Okay, are you sure it's a rattlesnake? Oh yeah, I got his tail. Really? All right, hold on, hold on. I don't dude, be want careful. to get a strike. Hold on a second. Can you see him? Yeah, he's like... There he is, there he is, there he is. Wow. Okay, that's it. Northern Pacific rattlesnake right there. Uh, one thing I don't ever recommend you do is stick your hand into a hole after a rattlesnake. I moved this rock right here back and he kind of darted up into the crack and it was like, grab his tail and get him out so you guys can see him or we're gonna lose him. Um, let's work backwards up here onto flat ground. Uh, a little nervous. <laughs> All right, this is awesome. This is the snake we've been looking for the entire day and he's pretty small, but that doesn't mean he deserves any less respect. A snake of this size can definitely still kill you. Very toxic venom. Um, all right, let's, let's get him up here before I try to start delivering any facts. It's always harder, I think, to catch a smaller venomous snake than it is a large one because there's less room to work with. I wanna get the snake under better control and to do that, I'm gonna set him down and even though it's a small snake, I'm gonna head it so that you guys can get an up close look. I'm just a little too nervous having him dangling off the edge of the stick there. Uh, this isn't gonna hurt the snake at all. This is really just gonna keep the situation quite a bit safer for both of us. All right, there you go, little buddy. There we go. I want a real gentle yet controlled hold on the back of his head. Keep my fingers away from those little things. And even though the snake is only about a foot and a half long, he still packs enough venom to definitely send me to the hospital. And if my body doesn't react well, I could die. This is a snake that definitely can kill you. Now the Northern Pacific rattlesnake is the only species of rattlesnake here in Northern California. So if you come across any rattlesnake on a trail, it's real easy to identify this guy just based on the fact that He's got that classic rattle. But these snakes come in a variety of colors. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Look at all that patterning running down the length of the body. But you can come across these snakes as a complete dark brown or black coloration. You may look at it and say, there's no way that's a rattlesnake until you get down to the end of the tail and see that real distinct raccoon-like striping. Oh, this snake is just beautiful. And uh, like most pit vipers, they have that straight horizontal pupil and uh, I can see he's got little tiny pits there right in front of the eye and just behind the nostrils. 
which help these guys go out at night to find their prey. And a snake of this size is probably eating small lizards, but when they get bigger, these snakes can grow to five feet in length, and a snake of that size could take something as large as a rabbit, believe it or not. People have actually shot footage of these snakes trying to consume rabbits, which is a pretty big meal for a rattlesnake. Now this little snake is staying really calm right now, which is a great situation for us. I can actually feel that his body is cold to the touch, which tells me he's been nestled down in the rocks all day. And this time of day, it's about uh, 4, 30, 5 o'clock, just the time when these snakes start to come out, begin to sun, warm themselves up. Reptiles are ectotherms, so they can head out into the dark and hunt at night. Now you may be wondering about this snake's rattle. What does it feel like? It's very hollow feeling and that's why it makes that rattling sound. And this is nothing more than dead skin. Every time a snake sheds its skin, one of these buttons grows a little bit further. And that's his little warning signal to anybody that comes into the environment. You hear this and you know you're close to a rattlesnake. And the best thing to do is freeze in place Get your bearings, see if you can spot the snake. If not, slowly go backwards. There's a good chance that the snake is more in front of you than it is behind you. Get yourself to safety and you'll be just fine. What an awesome adventure it's been out here hiking in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We've come across some amazing species, but nothing is like coming across the holy grail of reptiles, the Northern Pacific rattlesnake. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go back off into the rocks, but I wanna hear about the rattlesnake encounters that you've had in Northern California. Tell me about them in the comments section below. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel and check out these other episodes so you can stick with us on this season of Breaking Trail.